canais aqui na Holanda são famosos, os ganchos no topo das casas uma necessidade na hora da mudança. Mas as bicicletas, essas sim são a cara da Holanda, o veículo mais utilizado no país no verão e no inverno. Elas são milhares, cerca de 18 milhões espalhadas pelo país, mas o que me traz aqui dessa vez é o Yoga. Hoje nós estamos aqui com o um professor de yoga, Clé Sorren, 70 anos e há 35 anos ensinando yoga, Yengar Yoga. Hoje ele vai contar um pouquinho a história dele para vocês. Clé, how many years are you teaching yoga? Almost 35 years. I started, uh, I think, in 1975, and I started to, uh, according to the circumstances, that it was just like a coincidental thing that I started to teach very quickly, sooner than most students nowadays. I was practicing not more than, I think, seven, eight months, and then a friend of mine who was a yoga teacher, she asked me to fill in her classes, and at first I said, no, 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 I cannot do that, but she, yeah, convinced me to try, and I did it, and I, and, and I did it, so... Because uh, before you teach yoga, you had another kind of life uh, oh, another yeah, completely different has nothing to do with yoga I was a, a journalist like a reporter a freelance uh, journalist and yeah writing articles traveling a lot and uh, and also the lifestyle that comes with that profession so that's a bit different from the from let's say from the yoga lifestyle uh, and you start to practice uh, straight the Iyengar yoga yeah or? yeah I always considered myself myself very lucky that I didn't have to waste time with trying first other yoga uh, schools uh, and so on and so on approaches to yoga because uh, yeah I'm a strong believer in the Iyanga method in the Iyanga system and I as I said I consider myself very lucky that I uh, yeah that I started with that also that was just a coincidence that people took me to a yoga class and from the very first class to my surprise mm -hmm. I, I really liked it uh, yeah So you start um, practicing and then somebody asks to you to give a class, then you yeah. start your career. And then slowly on, uh, yeah, I started to teach more and more and I also I practice a lot because that, yeah, that I, still if I think uh, about it after all this year, it still kind of surprises me why It took me so strong because from, let's say, I, I, I went uh, to, uh, to this Iyengar class and the next morning my body because felt kind of stiff and I said, well, let me do these exercises, these asanas from the, 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 the night before again and maybe that helps and then that really helped. I got the stiffness out of my body and in, yeah, more or less from that day on I practice every day, every, every morning. Uh, I, I, and I really start to like it and then it was consuming more and more time the practice and the teaching so then I was slowing down slowly on my work as, as, a, as, as a journalist and less writing and, 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 and more yoga more until asanas. and within yeah yeah right <laughs> and more asanas and pranayamas yeah, yeah, and less yeah, writing yeah yeah and okay. then uh, within two or three years I was more or less a, a full-time uh, yeah Yoga teacher. 